Hey folks, welcome back to Adstech, and we're in Planet Coaster today, uh, building a playground. Now, uh, we're putting together at the moment uh, one of those uh, log bridges um, that you, you sometimes see. Uh, we certainly have them here in the UK in, in our parks occasionally. Um, so I'm just putting one of those together at the moment. Now, uh, the park we're building is Birch Valley, and uh, originally it was going to be called Pinewood Hills, but uh, a certain somebody, Mr. John T, has um, used that name already. So we've had to go with Birch Valley because there are quite a few very nice looking birch trees in Planet Coaster. So we're going to go with that name uh, today. Uh, I'll say today, that, that is the park name. That's what we're going to be using. Um, but we're putting the playground together um, out of the uh, the wooden log pieces. Um, we just completed a, a very simple log bridge there. Um, now, the, the feel of this, this particular playground um, it, it's quite hard to build anything uh, of, of actual scale in Planet Coaster because everything's so massive. Now, um, I, I wanted a playground in this park because uh, it's it's very much a, a family style park. Um, so you know, it sort of fits the theme quite nicely. Um, most of theme parks in the UK, at least, um, and also things like holiday parks and uh, you know places like that, they will have. Uh, at least one uh, playground or, or kids park um, and quite often it will include you know things like a, a, a set of swings which is what I'm building here um, a slide which I've already done in the background um, and a few other bits and bobs as well um, so so this park is very much like um, a family park um, with a, a theme park kind of bolted on the side although the theme park will make up the you know the, the bulk of the uh, of the park itself um, now as you can see in the background we've got some um, blocks of accommodation um, and they were inspired by Butlins because we went there last year and um, they call them apartments, they're apartment buildings and so they're set out on three floors um, and they they're very nice actually they, if you ever get you know if you're in the UK and you've been um and about going with uh, uh, a holiday to Butlins and I would certainly uh, you know suggest it because uh, we had a great time um, but yeah the accommodation blocks are there in the background um, which uh, we we talked about in another video so go and check out the other Birch Valley video if you haven't seen it already um, we weren't sure if we were going to continue with this uh, particular park because um, I started building this park before I, I uh, launched the YouTube channel so uh, it was very much a kind of um, you know do we carry on do we not carry on um, so the video kind of runs through what we've done already um, and some of this will, will already be there so you'll you'll see some of that um, already built uh, the footage that you'll see now is actually footage that um, was put together before uh, the fun fair was put together so uh, there'll be certain shots in uh, the recordings where you'll see the fun fair um, and then you, you'll, uh, you, you know, you, at the end of the glamour shots, you'll see that. Um, but when we actually put the uh, the playground together in a moment, uh, it, it's not there. You can't see it because it wasn't built at that point. Um, also in the background there, you can see uh, very briefly um, one of the uh, log cabins, or uh, we call them chalets in the UK as well. And uh, they are, again, they are, uh, you know, more like a, a camping and caravanning, or, or we call it glamping. Um, where you know we we, we have these uh, log cabins and people can stay in them um you know and they don't have to necessarily bring everything they've got all the amenities like uh, you know fridge and a sink and running water um you know all that kind of stuff so it's basically like a apartment but you know in a self-contained unit sort of thing uh, so we're putting the playground together now uh, what we have built uh for the playground is a swing um a slide uh, some monkey bars which um i i didn't show um, as, as I say, some of the footage was uh, was missing, um, and uh, you know, like a little log uh, sort of rope bridge type thing as well. Um, now you can see there that I'm, I'm placing these down, and the reason I can't um, put the path down on that bottom right hand corner was because of that ATM that I placed there. Um, but I quite liked it there, and to be honest, I thought that you know having a big sort of rectangle squarish box um, would be a little bit boring actually. So we we go with a. Um, you know with a, a little sort of jut in there and it just sort of breaks things up a little bit um, now the idea the location for this playground um, is actually away from the main park itself so so Birch Valley is actually set out into two different areas at the moment one of which is uh, where the accommodation is because you, you wouldn't necessarily have 
um, any uh, you know accommodation sort of right in the middle of the park because it's it's far too noisy you know uh, especially if you've got young kids uh, like I do and uh, you know if, if you go into a theme park and you you know you decide to to, to head off to the hotel and, and, and you know get some rest for the next day uh, you don't want um, you know loud rumbles and roller coasters and screaming and loud music and all that kind of stuff so they kind of separate stuff away from the rest of the park and that's what we've done here um, with the accommodation um, both the the, uh, the wooden um, uh, the wooden chalets and the apartment blocks are all kind of separated off to one side uh, of the uh, park entrance which um, is, is in the middle um, so we're just putting these uh, the, the, the idea for this park was to kind of make it feel um, a little bit sort of woodland um, because I wanted to I wanted to get a little bit of nature I suppose into the uh, into the build um, and a lot of parks here in the UK are uh, especially ones that are in you know um, like theme parks and uh, stuff like that they're all very much sort of heavily um, sort of wooded areas uh, as well sometimes I mean it depends where you go but nine times out of ten there'll be plenty of trees about and it will be um, you know, sort of a, a woodland style park and that's kind of what we were going for here um, except you know there are um, sort of apartment blocks and uh, and stuff uh, next to it on the left hand side of the of the, the shop right now um, you'll see there is actually um, the reception building for the wooden woodland woodland get my teeth in chalet park um, so that's the reception you, you, you know you sort of drive in um, and uh, you know grab your keys and you'd, you'd sign in grab your keys and then you'll see go off to your chalet and uh, you know have your holiday so um, normally you'd have uh, a reception so that you, you you would you know sign in and all that kind of stuff so we, we've built uh, like a little reception area as well um, so, uh, so yeah we're using the um, the pirate rope fences for uh, this playground because um, they I, I really really like these pirate fences I can use them in a lot of different areas um, they're quite they're quite uniform in a way because you can you can actually use them almost anywhere um, which is really good so yeah I, uh, I use the rope fences uh, you can see me having a bit of a problem with the pathing system trying to get trying to get that working because uh, it was so close to, to two different paths that it was just snapping all the time and it was causing me an absolute pain uh, to, to get sorted so uh, yeah it took us a little while and I wanted a, a square path there as well so that it looked a bit nicer because uh, the round paths are good but they don't really finish off um, an area like that it, it kind of had to be square so uh, just placing some uh, foliage some trees now just to make it feel uh, a little bit more um, sort of uh, closed off um, and, uh, and sort of finished so there's, we're, we're putting in plenty of trees um, there's, there's the whole park I mean we're, we're putting a lot of trees down but it does impact performance quite a bit so we are you know, going to have to be quite careful um, with how many uh, trees and bits and bobs we do place down um, the roller coaster Gold Rush which is on the other side of the uh, at the park entrance that is a mine train style roller coaster um, you will see that in uh, the other Birch Valley video so so go and check it out um, I've also got some footage to go up with uh, an onboard um, ride cam as well uh, a POV uh, camera so um, I'll, I'll, I've got those both recorded which we'll get those up um, in the next day or so and uh, you know you guys can see what the roller coaster looks like but it uh, that uh, took me also uh, quite a long time as well. I've actually got some footage of, of some of the scenery being built for Gold Rush. Um, it took an absolute age to uh, to sort out. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll get some videos up and uh, you know see see what footage I've got. Uh, so at the moment, you'll see me just sort of you know we've finished off the borders uh, for the playground now. Um, we put some trees and some plants down to make it feel um, you know a bit more closed off and a bit. Um, you know sort of design so to speak um, at the moment I'm, I'm actually placing down some logs uh, which is quite obvious but um, I don't know if these are if, if you see these um, elsewhere outside the UK I mean you, you probably must do um, but we have these kind of um, these little log things that are, are placed down to the ground and what the idea is that they're kind of like stepping stones and um, you know you, you'd sort of step um, from, from one end to the other um, and usually they're, they're, they're logs, you know, and I thought that would be quite a nice little addition because I had, um, you know, we, we've got we've got a set of swings, we've got a slide, we've got a set of monkey bars, and we've got the rope bridge, but there was nothing kind of in the middle to kind of break it all up. It sort of felt like, um, you know, there's uh, four bits of equipment in four corners, and um, I just felt that those um, 
those little uh, uh, stepping stone logs or stepping logs, um, you know, sort of needed to break it up a little bit. Um, so that's what we uh, we did there. Uh, just placing some benches down now. So um, we're going for a semi-realistic build here in Birch Valley. Um, although the realism aspect will be limited to my imagination because <laughs> I'm not quite uh, not quite as good as some of the other uh, guys on YouTube that do Planko stuff. Um, so uh, we're actually placed, just just placing down some benches, some bins. Um, you know, the idea is that parents would sit on them and, and you know let their children run a bit riot and you know burn us some energy. Um, and uh, so that's what we're doing. Although I think actually we go back and move that bench next to the road bridge because it doesn't look quite right just there. So I think we get rid of that one. Um, so yeah, that's what we uh, we are doing there. Um, and also now we're actually just placing some of these um, uh, lantern rope pieces, uh, which are absolutely awesome. Um, I really really like these. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They give off quite a bit of light which is really nice um, so what, what, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm actually just placing these all the way around the edge um, because this park is going to be open at night as well um, and we kind of want to light up the area just nicely so that you know kids can still come and use the playground uh, at night time um, I'm very much focused on adding lights I mean as you can see there the reception building and all of the um, you know the apartment buildings and everything there's a lot of lies around um, in fact actually I probably spend just as much time in nighttime uh, as I do in daytime because uh, I don't know lighting just it just feels like it needs to be done in Planet Coaster because the lighting system is absolutely gorgeous uh, so um, that's what I've done there and we will put some more lights up as well um, I was trying to get this photo point in uh, to the, the playground because I, I, I actually thought after I built all this I thought actually there's nothing to make the guests uh, come into the playground and um, you know <laughs> and actually use it so it, it I mean it is going to be realistically just a set piece but um, it would be quite nice for people to go in and sit on the benches and uh, you know look like it's being used so I was just trying to um, you know figure out a way of trying to get guests to uh, to go into the playground but um, uh, we, we kind of abandoned that idea because it, it didn't really work very uh, very well. Uh, what we're doing at the moment, uh, I think, is placing down these big logs. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's right. I quite like the idea of um, a children's playground. Must be, you know, it must be fun. It must be entertaining. Um, and I thought, actually, you know, w when it comes to night time, uh, it's quite nice for a playground to uh, have some colour in it as well. Um, I've got some other ideas for uh, a water style um, playground with uh, water jets and stuff um, again something else that we, we saw at Butland um, and you know the, the, the floor is like that, that kind of bouncy tarmac stuff and it was all sort of coloured um, you know different shapes all that kind of stuff and I thought well actually you know a playground needs to be fun it needs to be entertaining it needs to be somewhere where kids uh, you know really want to visit they, they you know they really want to go and play on the swings and stuff and I thought well actually at night time um, although we've got these uh, lanterns up it would be quite nice to have some uh, you know some some colored lights so I thought well actually let you know let's let's put up some of these uh, you know these these um, uh, well, we actually call them park hands um, they're, they're par lights and uh, we place a few of these around just to, to kind of give um, a, a bit more color a bit more variation to the to the playground as well um, so that's what we're doing there. Um, I think also in a minute uh, we finish off doing the lights. I'm just thinking what else we uh, we're actually doing in the playground. We're quite close to finishing off the playground actually, so um, we're not too far away now. Um, one thing I do actually start putting down. Um, <laughs> I kind of go one step uh, one step more. Uh, I just want out the the lights there to make sure they all look quite nice I think we're missing the light actually in the, the bottom left hand corner I might stick one in uh, another time um, is yeah there we go I'm looking for um, something like uh, like a special effect to use because um, I thought <laughs> I, d I don't know why I decided to do this but I thought being a playground you know it's got to be fun um, the lights are, are not enough you know we need something else um, and then I kind of realized that well it, it didn't really uh, it didn't really suit confetti's uh, you know to make a, a, a big mess so we decided to change the bubbles um, I thought kids love bubbles you know they they love to, to try and catch them they pop and all that kind of stuff um, and uh, we look at that and we think well actually 
Um, no, it's not very good. We'll delete it. <laughs> so we got rid of that. Uh, some cinematic shots for you now, guys. Uh, you will see that I've put in um, the playground sign there, just to your left as well, um, with uh, a, a sign that I made in Photoshop with some just some playground rules and, and general bits and pieces like that as well. Uh, so, um, so yeah, we've also played some of the uh, the picnic benches down as well um, because some of this footage was made before. Uh, the adventure pack and the picnic benches came in so you'll see and there's a fairground in the back there you go <laughs> so uh, the fairground is there as well I'll do a video on that as well um, just to give you guys a bit of a, an insight as to, to what this all is if you have any thoughts or comments make sure you pop them down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well um, and check us out on Twitter too if you want to send me a message uh, you can do so there as well as our Facebook page thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time Thank you